children in the previous video we discussed about the aia similarity criterion for two triangles and also we proved this and here the question arises what about the converse of the statement of aia similarity criterion of two triangles and you know that according to the aia similarity criterion for two triangles if the corresponding angles of two triangles are equal then their sides are in the same proportion and here we have to verify that if the corresponding sides of two triangles are in the same ratio here we have to verify that whether the triangles are equiangular or whether they are similar now let us verify the sss similarity criterion for two triangles sss means that is side 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 it means if three sides of one triangle are proportional to the corresponding sides of the other triangle then we have to verify that whether their corresponding angles are equal or not to verify this you do one activity here you draw two triangles abc and triangle def such that ab is equals to 1.5 cm bc is equals to 3 cm ac is equals to 4 cm and also construct triangle def such that de is equals to 4.5 cm ef is equals to 9 cm and df is equals to 12 cm and here you got the triangles and in triangle abc and and triangle def we have what you have you know that here you find the ratio ab by de that is equals to 1.5 by 4.5 that is 15 by 45 so you will get 1 by 3 and bc by bc by ef is equals to 3 by 9 that is equals to 1 by 3 next ac by df is equals to ac by df is equals to ac is 4 and df is 12 again you got 1 by 3 and here ab by de is equals to bc by ef is equals to ac by df we have this what you have you have that the corresponding sides are in the same ratio or sides are proportional here next you measure angle a angle b and angle c and also angle e angle d and angle f so what will you observe here here you know that angle a and angle e angle a and angle d are having same measurement and angle b and angle e are having same measurement and also here angle c and angle f are having same measurement angle c and angle f are having same measurement here the triangle abc and triangle df are constructed in such a way that their corresponding sides are in proportion the corresponding sides are in the proportion so after measuring the angles of both the triangle you got that the corresponding angles are equal so here what you got angle a is equals to angle a is equals to angle d angle b is equals to angle e and angle c is equals to angle f here the given thing is that the sides are in the same proportion so you got the result that angles are corresponding angles are equal means automatically two triangles abc and triangle def are similar here. therefore what you can write triangle abc is similar to triangle def because their corresponding angles are equal so here the converse of the aaa is also true the converse of aaa is sss according to the aaa criterion for similarity of triangle if three angles of one triangle are equals to the corresponding three angles of the other triangle then their sides are proportional and according to the sss criterion of similarity of triangle 
if the sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of the other triangle then their corresponding angles are equal and hence they are similar so this is about the sss similarity criterion of triangle with the result of the construction of the triangle you got this so now let us discuss about the statement of the SSS criterion for similarity of triangles. The statement of the SSS criterion for similarity of triangles is as follows. That is, if in two triangles, sides of one triangle are proportional to the sides of the other triangle, then their corresponding angles are equal and hence the two triangles are similar. And with the help of the figure, you can state this like this way. Here there are two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle PQR. So here the triangles are in such a way that their sides are in the proportion. The sides are proportional means the sides are in the same ratio. That is AB by PQ is equals to BC by QR is equals to AC by PR. That is, that is here if AB by PQ is equals to BC by QR is equals to AC by PR and then what you can say angle A is equals to angle P and angle B is equals to angle Q and angle C is equals to angle R. You can show this in the figure angle A is equals to angle P, angle B is equals to angle Q and angle C is equals to angle R. Here, given that these two triangles are in such a way that their sides are in the same proportion. The ratios of the sides are in the ratios of the sides are equal here. And you got the result that angle A is equals to angle P, angle B is equals to angle Q, angle C is equals to angle R means the corresponding angles are equal and they are similar. Therefore, here you can conclude that with the help of the AAA and SSS similarity criterion of two triangles, if two triangles are equiangular, then sides are in the same ratio. The sides are proportional. Or if two triangles are in such a way that their corresponding sides are proportional, means the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal then the two triangles are equiangular. So here if one property is there means it is also having other property. Now let us discuss about the one more criteria of similarity of two triangles that is SAS side angle side here two sides and their included angle. So, to verify this criteria, you do an activity, draw two triangles ABC and triangle PQR such that AB is equals to 4 cm, angle B is equals to 65 degree and BC is equals to 5 cm. Here, the two sides AB and BC are given and the angle between the sides AB and BC, angle B is given and the next triangle is triangle PQR. Here also the two sides PQ and QR are given and the angle between them that is the included angle, angle Q is given. Now you construct the triangle ABC and triangle PQR by using the given measurement and here you got that AB by PQ. Here AB is 4 cm and angle B is 65 degree and BC is 5 cm and in triangle PQR PQ is 8 cm and angle Q is 65 degree and angle and side QR is equals to 10 cm side QR is equals to 10 cm now you got the thing that AB by PQ AB by PQ is equals to we will get 4 by 8 that is 1 by 2 the ratio is here 1 by 2. Next you take the other ratio that is BC by QR. 
bc by qr that is 5 by 10 that is also 1 by 2. So you got ratio of two sides that is ab by pq is equals to 1 by 2 bc by qr is equals to 1 by 2 therefore you can write ab by pq is equals to bc by qr two pairs of sides are in the same ratio the ratio ab by pq is equals to the ratio bc by qr next year b the angle between the sides ab and bc that is 65 so you can write angle b is equals to the angle between the sides pq and qr that is angle q both are equals to 65 degree now you measure the remaining angles and you can verify that angle a is equals to angle p and angle c is equals to angle r it means these two triangles becomes equiangular triangle and also find the ratio of the third pairs that is ac by pq pr ac by pr then also the ratio is also you will get 1 by 2 only here you got that the two ratios are equal and third ratio also becomes equal to 1 by 2 and the remaining two corresponding angles also becomes equal so here what are the observations by measuring the remaining angles you proved that angle a is equals to angle p angle a is equals to angle p and angle c is equals to angle r triangle abc and triangle pqr such triangles that one angle of triangle equals to one angle of the another triangle and the sides including these angles are proportional and you got the result that these two triangles are equiangular means the remaining pairs of angles also becomes equal that is you got that angle a is equals to angle p and angle c also is equals to angle r and these two triangles abc and triangle pqr becomes similar triangle therefore here this criterion is called side angle side criterion that is if one angle of a triangle is equals to one angle of the other triangle and the sides including these angles are proportional then the two triangles are similar in this way you got the criteria one more criteria that is the side angle side criteria of similarity of triangle so what is the statement of SA similarity criterion for two triangles the statement is as follows if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other and the sides including these angles are proportional then the two triangles are similar according to the statement of the SA similarity of two triangles here in triangle ABC in triangle ABC and triangle PQR given that angle B is equals to angle Q or you write the ratio first AB by PQ is equals to BC by QR and angle B is equals to angle Q or you can write or you can write angle B is equals to angle Q and AB by PQ is equals to BC by QR here angle B is equals to angle Q and the including sides AB by PQ is equals to BC by QR then what then here angle A becomes equals to angle P and angle C becomes equals to angle R the triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR 
as angle as triangle ABC and triangle PQR are equiangular triangles means their corresponding angles are equal here. This is according to the SAS similarity criterion of two triangles. In this way you learnt three similarity criteria for two triangles. First one is the AAA similarity criteria. Second one is the SSS similarity criteria. Third one is the SAS similarity criteria. And according to the situation you can use any similarity criteria and you can prove that the given two triangles are similar or not similar. Therefore, there is no necessity of taking all the corresponding parts of the similar triangles. So, by taking any three pairs of corresponding parts that is SSS side 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 that is three pairs of corresponding sides and their ratio or AAA that is three angles of one triangle and three angles of the other triangle and the third one is SAS that is two sides and the angle made by them